Hello and welcome! Sometimes backing up a game can be very difficult, and other times it can be extremely simple. And fortunately for the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, it is really simple. And today I'm going to walk you through how to back up your PS1 and 2 games with just a PC, some software, and a DVD drive. But first, a message from us at 16-Bit. Check out our games from us at 16-Bit Games, like Invaders from Space. Survive as long as possible and get the high score as the endless wave of enemies slowly make their way down to you. Play it today for free from the Apple App Store, Google Play, or the Amazon App Store. Now what are we going to need to specifically back up the PS1 and PS2 games? Well, firstly, we need a computer. For this video, I will be using my Windows 10 laptop for the demonstration, but any machine with any operating system will work so long as it's compatible with a disk drive and software to create images from the disk that you put into it. For our disk drive, since I want both PS1 and PS2 games, I'm going to be using this portable DVD drive, partially because it's compatible with my Windows 10 machine, also it's the one that I have lying around. And finally, for the software, I want to pick two free software to use, Power ISO and IMG Burn. Both softwares are designed for Windows. I think Power ISO can work for Linux and Mac OS. I haven't tested it myself. And they're both good. I actually swap between the two, depending on if one software is having issues reading the disk versus the other. Personally, I prefer Power ISO since it can emulate a disk drive and it's great if you're backing up PC games. But Image Burn is a little bit better, a little bit more straightforward, and it doesn't demand money if you're making an ISO larger than 500 megabytes. So pick whichever software you want. I'll be going over both in this video. Links will be provided below. So, Let's start burning our disc. To start, just put the game disc into the DVD drive, no duh, and connect it to the computer. Once you're ready, start the application of choice and begin to make an image file of our disc. Once the process starts, just set the output directory and our file output format. For PS1 games, we're going to aim for the binq format since there are some games that use CD digital audio tracks to store the game soundtracks, which is why you can actually listen to some game soundtracks using a regular CD player. And as for the PS2 games, the preference is to set it to the ISO format, but if you're using Power ISO, BinQ will also work. You're just running the bin files. To set the file format different for each software, Image Burn actually sets the output automatically and you don't actually have to worry about it. Power ISO, on the other hand, you have to manually select it from the little drop down menu. And remember, unless you've paid for the software, you're stuck to 500 megabyte ISO caps. But once all your parameters are selected, just press the big OK button and, or read button and go. Once your timer is up, your game has been successfully backed up onto your computer and you're ready to do with it as you will. So now that you've backed up your games, what can you do with them? Well, if you have the correct emulators, you can play them on your computer. Or if you've modified your original system, you can play your games back on your console like it's playing from the disk drive. Really, it's down to you for what you want to do with it. You can stare passionately at the files on your desktop for all I care. It's really down to what you want to do with it. Just keep in mind the advice that I gave in the Our ROMs Are Legal video. These are meant to be backups, and they're meant for personal use only. If you ever sell your games, or if you're borrowing a game just so that you can rip it, it's the equivalent of piracy, and you really should be destroying your backups if you no longer own the original copy. The whole purpose of this is to protect your right to access the software that you have legally acquired over the years. But anyways, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found the videos helpful, if the very least, inf informational. But anyways, have yourself a fantastic day. And as always, take care.